Hi, I'm Margie Remmers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the Fast and Easy Way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certification. Today, we're going to be walking through one of the practice exercises from our basic level course, Section 1, Lesson 9, Products and Services. Now, there are four practice exercises currently in this lesson. Um, three of them are what I call critical exercises. That means that you absolutely have to know how to do them in order to um, in order to be able to pass the test. Like, you have to know them. Um, the one that we're going to be covering today which is all about importing products and services, is something that's just for your edification. It's just something nice to know. Um, there's very little that you need to know about it for the test. Uh, but let's go ahead and walk through it. First of all, we're going to take a look at the scenario. Um, Craig has a spreadsheet of some of the products and services he was tracking before he got started with QBO. How can you import these for him? So um, the first thing that we need to do is we're going to have to log into the sample company. So I'm going to hop over and uh, take a look at that. I have already logged in. This would be a good time to stop and tell you um, that if you would like a copy of this exercise or you would like to learn more about our courses, you'll find information in the links below. You'll also find um, more information about the sample company if you don't know how to log in and do that kind of stuff. So anyway, so here I am. Once I'm in the, the sample company, I am just going to uh, click the gear icon and then hit um, and then select import data. So there's my gear icon. There's import data. Now, um, these are the list of things that you can import. What we're going to be talking about is the um, products and services. Not all of them can be imported into the sample company, but all of them can be imported you know, in a real, uh, real live account. So for right now, we're going to click products and services. Now, um, in the scenario, Craig already had a spreadsheet to be able to import, uh, but for the purposes of our uh, exercise, we are just going to download the sample file. So the cool thing is that um, in the in uh, QuickBooks Online, Intuit provides sample files for each of the different types of things that you can import so you know exactly what your spreadsheet should look like, what it should contain um, when you go to do it for real. So um, that's uh, in the sample file. And so that is right here. You can see it says download sample files. We're going to click that. We are going to download that. Um, and then once the file has been downloaded, all we're going to do is click Browse. Of course, this is what you would do in real life. Just click Browse. Um, and when I select that, there is my sample file right there. Um, I'm going to show you, before I import it, I'm going to show you real quick what that sample file looks like. Um, Hopping over to a spreadsheet. So here we go. So you can see that it has the product and service name, the sales description, all of the good stuff that you would expect to see in the products and services list. Um, and of course, it says don't import this file as is. This is just a sample. Uh, but we are going to import it as is because this is just walking through a practice exercise. It's not real life. <laughs> so let me head back to uh, my sample company. I'm going to go back to um, browse and I will there's my file um all right so uh so then I clicked the next thing let's see the next thing is to whoop, the next thing is to click the green button the green next button which is right there okay so now what you're seeing here let me just take that off uh, there we go. Um, so what you're seeing here, let's see if I can, there we go, scroll up a little bit, is on the left-hand side, this column here is the QuickBooks Online field. And this right here, your field, that's what's coming from the spreadsheet. So in this uh, in this tool, you would then match, you would or map is the word, you would map the different fields from your spreadsheet in this column to the QuickBooks Online field in this column. In real life, you might have to make some adjustments for the purposes of our, uh, for the purposes of our exercise, 
we are just going to leave everything as is and click next. Okay. All right. Now this next section, let me just take that off so you can see it a little bit better. All right. So this next section, so the, the, what we did before when we mapped the data is that we compared the field names, okay? So the field, uh, the column headings in your document to the fields that are in QuickBooks Online. This is where we're actually looking at the data that's in that spreadsheet and determining what we want to, um, if we need to make any adjustments, changes, what we want to include. Um, this right here, these three columns, sell is what you would check if it's a product that you sell, buy is what you would check if it's a product that you buy or purchase, and then track is for if you uh, if it's an inventory product and you're you're tracking the quantity and the value of the uh, the inventory. Um, all about inventory is covered in the advanced level of the course, which of course you can find out more in the links below. But for the purposes of us, we are just going to leave everything as is and select import. Okay. Now when I do that you'll notice that I'm getting an error message right here. And the error message points out that one of the products is, has a product name that's already in the products and services list, okay? Now I could check this right here, say overwrite the values, which means use what's in the spreadsheet and overwrite that in the products and services list. Um, again, that's part of the advanced course, so we're not going to talk about that. What we're going to do instead is we are just going to change the product name from uh, design to custom design right here. So I'm just going to put the word custom in front of that, and then that way um, it's importing it as a new product. Okay, so then I click import, and that is it. So now our uh, products and services are in the list. Uh, these, what was in the spreadsheet is now in the products and services list. And I could go and check that if I wanted to go to my products and services. Then you can see right here, let me scroll down a little bit. So you can see right here, custom design, which is one of the, that new thing that we just created is right there. And one other thing I want to show you real quick, you know how in the last couple of, if you've watched the last couple of videos about the products and services list and creating new products and services, I've always said, hit the green new button, not the arrow next to it. Well, this arrow next to it, um, if you click that, this would give you the, the uh, ability to import right there as well. Okay. All right. So that is it for today. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. If you would like to be notified about any other videos, uh, practice exercises, et cetera, that we post, make sure and subscribe as well as click the little bell. And of course, if you have any questions about this particular lesson or this particular practice exercise or about our courses in general, make sure you leave a comment and I will get right back to you. And that's it, folks. I will see you next time.